Hello and welcome to another episode of Alex Plays Pokemon Sapphire. In today's video we will be taking on Watson, the electric type gym leader. So without further ado, let us head over to the gym and see what is going on here. Oh uncle please, I want to challenge this gym and see how much better I've become. Oh no. Please, may I, please? Now hold on Wally, since you've started living with Pokemon, you have grown quite a lot stronger, but don't you think you're pushing it to suddenly challenging a gym? I'm not pushing it. If I combine forces with Ralts, we can beat anyone. Oh, hi Alex. I've gotten a lot stronger since we met. Alex. I want you and my uncle to understand that. Alex, please, will you have a battle with me? Yeah, why not? Alex, thank you. Okay, here I come. So do you have anything else other than rots? No, just rots. Wow. And it's not a particularly good matchup for Macket. So... You're already at an advantage. Wait, I've just realised Swellow is actually a higher level than Grovile. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, let's use Wing Attack. And one-shot it. Well, sorry Wally. Oh. Yeah, you lost. You brought one Pokemon. Uncle, I'll go back to Verdan, Verdan Turf. Alex, thank you. Being a trainer is tough, isn't it? It's not enough just to have Pokemon and make them battle. That isn't what being a real trainer is about. Wally, there's no need to be so down on yourself. Why don't you keep, keep making yourself stronger and stronger? Come on, let's go home. Everyone's waiting for you. Oh, poor Wally. Alex, it just dawned on me that you must be the trainer who kept an eye out for Wally when he caught his Pokemon. Why don't you visit us in Vendor Turf sometime? I'm sure Wally would enjoy it. So I'm assuming we'll go there soon. But first of all, we've got a gem to take on. Hey, how's it going, champion bound? So he uses electric types, we know that. And if you challenge him with water types, he'll zip you. Okay, so don't... Don't use water types. So... Ah! Okay. So we step on a puzzle, uh, on a thing, and it changes. Okay. With my charm and my Pokemon, you'll be shocked. Okay. Wait, I thought this was an electric type gym, so why are you using psychic types? Interesting. I mean, you're psychic and fighting, so it's like the worst combination. Oh well. We'll just take you out easily then. I'm shocked by your power. Well, okay, I'm confused. You trained under Watson, then surely you've got an electric type. Guitarist Sean, who has a Voltorb. Now let's use Fake Out. That might actually be a decent idea for us if we use Fake Out to 
more moves or take a little bit of damage off it and then try and effectively not one shot it as such because we've used damage from fake out but effectively finish it off whirlwind uh, no let's not use whirlwind um okay so let's actually i'll bring out grovile for this one actually because it looks like we're just going to have to use Grovel and Market a lot in this battle. I mean, Swallow took out one of the Pokemon with, which was weird to have um, Meditate in an electric gym, but. I wonder what the reason behind that was. I mean, I'm not complaining, it was easy for us. But, it does seem quite weird. Right, I'm gonna send out Voltorb again. So we'll just use Absorb again. Sonic Boom is not our best friend. A critical hit would be nice. Or a miss, that works too. And we should be able to... We'll use a quick attack actually. Just to make sure. There we go. Hey, now we level up as well. So I'm assuming we can just go up here. Okay. I kind of wanted to take on these other two people. Can we still? Yes, we can. Kinda want to take these wee guys on. Just to get the extra experience. Wait, and you've got a zigzagoon? This doesn't make any sense. Why are you bringing a meditate and a zigzagoon to an electric gym? And why is there nobody with magnemite? Because that was kinda what I was banking on. So we may as well take you on. And then we can go and take on Watson. So we did not use the fake out strategy. But it doesn't look like we need to. And he paralyzes us. Well that's not good. And we miss. No. Okay, so this gym seems to be a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. There's a Magnemite, that's what we're looking for. And do we one shot it? Yeah. Right, I think we'll definitely go and heal up quickly first. Just one to get rid of the paralysis and two where Mac it's a bit low. We could just heal up normally, but for the sake of literally going here, we may as well just heal up the minute or so that it'll take. There we go. So, back to the gym.
Okay, so... Should be able to just go through here. Easily. Hey, and there we go. You're Watson. Yeah, we know. You're the gym leader. I don't know what he was spouting, to be honest. But it looks to be quite a cheerful... Cheerful old man. Sorry, buddy, but we are going to take that cheerfulness out of your system. Right, that didn't do as much damage as I thought it was. But he is level 22, to be fair. We should have just probably used... Um, right, Voltorb is next. So, we have a 50-50. He's either going to have a Voltorb to finish off or a Magnemite or any of the Revolve forms. So, we're going to I think we're going to bring out, yeah, we did bring out Grovile. So I think we'll try and take out the Voltorb with Grovile. And then hope that we can take out his last Pokemon, which will probably be his strongest Pokemon. With Makit. And just hope that it's a, an electric steel type, which Magneton is. Or Magnemite. Whereas Voltorb and Electrode are both just pure electric types. Or you can just use Self Destruct. I don't understand why, but okay. We'll bring out Makit early then. I'm assuming you'd done that so that you you wouldn't know what your final Pokemon is and we would have to... Well, there goes that strategy. So it looks like we will have to revive... Um, No, revive, mark it, so this looks like we're going to have to do the, the fake out strategy, I'm going to put R on in so we can fully heal up, uh, mark it, Because that has got to be our only hope at this moment in time. Because Shockwave is not an honor side. So we'll try a fake out. There we go. Which does nothing. And then try and survive a shockwave. If we don't survive the shockwave, then we're pretty much goosed. Yes. We did survive it. Right. So we just need to hope that one of them miss. And there's no critical. Right. This is not good. Do we have anything more than a 60? is going to be no chance. Should have probably gave that. Okay. So 
it looks like we just need to use this strategy. Unless... Oh, that goes that out the window. I think we're going to lose this one, by the way. Well... This doesn't go well. Because Shockwave is super effective. Yeah, so... Okay, so... We now need to rethink how we're going to do this because we have actually lost to Watson. Well, that's great. Okay. So, let's have a look at what we can do here. Right. Um, so, we'll use that on... Because Vital Throw is an attacking move. We'll also use... I'm not a big fan of using rare candy, but I think we should probably use it. I don't particularly want to though. What about Quick Claw? No, oh, give. What has Macket got in the first place? What are you holding? Fair enough. Do we have anything here that says boosts fighting types? Um, we have something that boosts ground attacks, but we don't have any ground Pokemon. Raises the critical hit ratio during one battle. I wonder if we actually use that in the gym. Actually, so what happens if... Okay, so we can't get straight through. Right, there we go. So I wonder, what have we, our Pokemon like? Hmm. So I wonder if we take out his, take out the Magnemite first. We bring in probably Zigzagoon. Wait, what does that protein do again? Raises the attack. Okay. So we'll do that. So here we go. Take two. Round two. So I wonder now that our, we've raised our attack by two. Vital for a vital throw should be more effective. Okay, and he also has a super potion. Okay, so we're now taking a lot more damage than we should have done from this Magnemite. As long as it doesn't kill us. 
which it does. Okay, so this isn't going well again. Hmm. So let's finish, just finish you off with quick attack. And... If we just use quick attack and... Oh! Okay, if we can maybe... Survive. Okay. Well, that's not really what I was going for, but... Okay, so this strategy is out the window of what I originally thought. How come... Oh. What happens if we use... So that's... Down. And I think we'll bring out Zigzagoon. Just so we can heal up. Grovel, because we pretty much only have Grovel to work on here. Okay. And there's that shockwave that's not our best friend here. So, we'll need to use a Pursuit because we've only got, and it doesn't do anything, so none of these moves are going to be effective. Ah. And we're also confused, so we're screwed. What if we use Pursuit? He's now not even using a Shockwave. So literally, no, no. See if he used Sonic Boom any other time. So now he's using Shockwave. If he used Sonic Boom maybe once or twice in any of the times, Wait a minute. Shockwave isn't very effective on Grovile. Okay. Interesting. So maybe, maybe that's the strategy. Maybe we bring out Grovile first. Okay. Right, we're definitely having to go into take three. However... We now have a new strategy. Right, okay. So... Yeah, yeah, we're out of usable Pokemon, I'm aware. Okay, so we need to go back, get some healing items first. With our 6500. So we don't even have that much. Five super potions should be enough. Do, can we get revives yet? No. Okay. Okay, so new strategy is if Grovile is 
Shockwave is not very effective on Grovile. There we go, so we've made it here. Right, so we can we fake out the Magnemite. Then use Vital Throw. Gets rid of him. Round three. Quick attack. We need to keep Swellow alive for a quick attack. I think it's because it's a normal type. So we'll fake out first. There we go, that gets rid of that little bit. We should be, this should get rid of you. Right, that's fine. Also, you should get level, level up, so that'll make things a little bit easier. Right, Voltorb's coming out. And we'll bring out Swellow. And if he uses self destruct, it shouldn't affect us. Wait, it does? Right, that's fine. We can handle 1 HP here, perfect. We can take a quick attack. What should get us a wee bit of damage. Shockwave's fine because we're not going to survive it anyway. Here. As long as we get... As long as we get to half health with Grovile, right, it's not going to do much damage, but we'll at least we'll chip away at it with quick attack, and hope hopefully we can get some through. With some absorb. We should also probably heal up Market. So it's not very effective, so we should be able to survive one. Snapped out of confusion. Good stuff. And maybe one quick attack just to make sure we get some damage. And then if we... I think if we sacrifice Zigzagoon for healing And I should have gave. That's what I meant to do. I knew I had to do something, and it was give a quick claw to mark it. No, we didn't we thought about it? Didn't we? We didn't because he's already holding an attacking item. Right. Okay. I'm overthinking now. This is what this has done to me. Ah. Uh, right. Okay. So what if we use Fake Out, that does a little bit of damage, flinch, perfect, and now we use Vital Throw, oh perfect, he even missed the Sonic Boom. He is going to heal up with his Super Potion I believe, which means we should be able to get another Vital Throw in. And what happens if we 
actually sacrifice Aaron again. That means we should be able to get another fake out from Lacket. Which we don't actually need. We just need to do a yes, sonic boom, that's fine. That's what we're looking for. Hey, and third time is the charm. Fine, I lost. Yes, you did, but it was third time lucky. And Mac, it's evolving. We could have probably done with that a bit before now, but okay, we'll take it. Hey. There we go. So, Maka is evolved into Hariyama, and we have received the Dynamo Badge. So, with the Dynamo Badge, Pokemon use Rock Smash outside of battle, and it will make your Pokemon a little bit faster too. You should take this too. That contains Shockwave, a trustworthy move that never misses. You can count on it. And that'll explain why we had so much problems and it never missed. Okay, so we will definitely heal up because that's what we need to do. And then we will call the episode there. So although it did take three attempts, we finally got the Dynamo Badge from Watson. It shows how more how much more difficult it is when you don't have type advantages but we got there in the end so thank you guys all for watching if you're a fan of what you've seen and excited for more then please like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one <laughs>